the Side Bet Podcast. I am your host, Rene Contreras. I have with me, and none other than the Vegas dog, Chris himself, the comp expert. Rene, how's it going? Pleasure to be here. Thank you for uh, thank you for having me. I'm uh, very excited. Chris, my man, it's going really good. Uh, pleasure to have you on. Uh, I can't wait to. The, I've, I've been looking forward to this talk for quite some while, quite some time. Uh, you are a comp expert. You were telling me. I take advantage of everything that you can. Like for me, like for me personally, I do. I do everything with uh, with comps, especially in Vegas, especially now with uh, like how prices are going up. And then to be very honest, like a lot of the comps are actually coming down for a lot of the players that I know myself personally and other ones. Um, I mean, if you're a same kind of player that plays all the time, that, that plays pretty regularly. I know that the prices are coming down. That's for kind of a good reason. Vegas is flourishing again. Uh, I remember uh, years ago, like when I first started going, I was, uh, you know, playing moderately and then getting some decent comps and then playing a little bit more, going a little bit more often. The comps started going up and uh, could go a lot more frequently. And then now uh, with uh, how Vegas is doing well again, some of the comps aren't as good as I used to have it years ago. And it's uh, kind of unfortunate because, I mean, I, I st I'm still going to go. I still love it. But uh, now I kind of rely a little bit more on my host to uh, top me up a little bit more when, the, the like I said, the comps and the free play that I used to get are not what they were. Um, so, so tell me a little bit about what they were. When you first started going to Vegas, what the comps look like? I mean, I'm going back probably about 2014, 2015 when I started going very regularly. Um, I mean, even at that point, I was like even called for like for Caesars, for instance. So I'll use Caesars as an example. Um, sure. Like like a, like a diamond, diamond plus at the time. I know they changed their their system around. Now they have just a, a standard diamond, which kind of used to to me. It's like used to be a platinum because I know years ago, even if you were platinum at Caesars, you used to be able to get you know free rooms and some free play. Um, not only that, the the resort fee was waived, especially when you're at platinum. And then, it, and then a few years after that, they bumped it that you had to be diamonds to get that bumped up. So diamond or uh, platinum was pretty much nothing. Platinum was you got you know your if you drove there, you would get uh, you know your parking comp, and that was pretty much about it. You get a little bit of stuff, but nothing in comparison. So then when they went up to diamond, you started to get that. Then they started to get obviously the resort fees were waived, which is huge. I know every, no one, not one person you could find ever that enjoys resort fees. Um, but the no only question. Will, that's what I mean. But and then now the one thing I will say is at least now that there's internet in certain things, because when they would, you'd, you'd everyone complain about resort fees and go like, what, what do I get for this? Like, Oh, well you get uh, internet in your room, but you had to hook it in through a cord. And you're like, well, how many people are going there to Vegas? Like, I mean, some people do go for work, but the majority of people are going to enjoy themselves. So, I mean, they want, you know, some Wi-Fi in their room. They go, okay, well, you get to use uh, the pool and the gym. Well, if, I mean, if you're going in the winter, like that stuff is, that, what, that, it does nothing, right? And then there's a couple of other amenities that no one was using. So you're like, I got to pay $45 for, for what here? And that was the big question. And I mean, I felt bad for the people at the desk because I mean, every time I went, I'd sit there and someone will be arguing or yelling at the people. And I'm like, I, I agree with them, but I mean, it's going to go nowhere because you're still going to have to pay the $45. So so now going back, I know I kind of rambled on a bit there, but again, going back with the uh, the Caesars. So now you had to be diamond to get, to waive the resort fees and start to get stuff. And that's fine. And then, so again, they went from diamond, then they have like diamond plus, then they have diamond elite. And then of course the seven star, which gets up there. Um, <clears throat> I mean, again, the, the base for, for that is, you know, again, pretty basic now. So like years ago when it, when I was just like, when I was just diamond, I was getting uh, 750 free play uh, plus, you know, the rooms comp, no resort fees, a couple other little knickknacks in there that, you know, if you had, uh, if you went to the same hotel, sometimes they would hook you up. Uh, and then if you're fortunate enough to have a host, they would kind of add on to that. So there was times like when in 2015, 2016, um, I was going to Vegas getting 1250 uh, free play. And I mean, that's pretty good considering at the time uh, flights were much cheaper and I was getting to Vegas for $450, $500. And so right off the hop, I figure I'm up $750. I've already paid for the flight. I'm already locked that in. But then I got the $1,250 free play and I'd always take it in casino chips. And I mean, sometimes if you hit a hot shoe of blackjack, you roll that up and it's pretty hard. Then all of a sudden you're, you're starting off your, your trip with a bang and it's very much, it's much more enjoyable. Where now, for instance, um, that 750 
Plus, like I said, my host would top it up. Now my offers, I'm kind of doing the same thing, not too much different. Now my free play has gone down to like $300 a month plus, you know, whatever my host kind of tops up. So he's pretty good. So he'll still just kind of lock me in at $750 and then kind of go from there. So that's really what I'm getting with Caesars as well as the the comped rooms. And then there's not really too much after that. I mean, the other good thing about it though, is that with my play, usually at the end of the trip, he will knock it off. So I keep it within reason. I'm not going out for luxurious dinners. I mean, my girlfriend and I will go out for a nice dinner. We always say like, we'll go to Hell's Kitchen or, you know, a nice other spot that we want to go to. So we, we put that on there. We, you know, we do our, we do our uh, gambling and then, you know, we're, we're getting, you know, slices of pizza, Earl a sandwich, a few other things, but we're always charging it to the room. And then we're always using our card. And at the end, I'll just, you know, kind of shoot him a text saying, hey, do you think you could take care of the bill? And, you know, when we go for five, six days, the bill's, you know, four or 500 bucks. It's usually no problem. And then see you later. So our, that's comp too. So taking that off the top, you know, him throwing a 750 free play, like that's pretty much where I'm at with Caesars, right? Because that's where I do most of my play. So I'll do that there. And then when we do gamble at MGM, it's, it's pretty moderate. So I'm not really getting too much, but I'll get... Uh, <laughs> I'll get like the fifty dollar, uh, sorry, like fifty dollar free play, hundred dollar, uh, you know, resort credit. So in saying that, I usually I'll always book get a room with at Caesars, so my host will hook that up, and it's more often than not it's at Planet Hollywood because that's where he's based out of now. So it's usually Planet Hollywood or Paris, um, but I prefer Planet Hollywood. Location's awesome. It's a bit more my style, and then we'll usually get a room at say Park MGM for instance because it's pretty much across the street. We walk across. So we'll still take advantage of that. I'll, I'll do that just to get, again, to get the comps. I'll get the, I'll get the resort credit, uh, free play, even though it's not much, but it's still a little bit, hey, to play around with. And then we'll spend the night at, say, Park MGM, right? And then we'll do that. And then there's also, uh, we'll, I'll get some stuff through, because we do a, a lot of our play usually on Fremont Street through Club One. So Circa, the D, uh, we do right. that. And then again, but the funny thing with that one is like, we get actually get a decent amount for there. Cause we'll go to Fremont for one night for sure. And then sometimes depending on the trip, uh, my girlfriend loves bingo at the Plaza. So we'll have to usually yes. go back down yeah. there. We'll usually have to go back down there for another day. So she gets her sessions in because again, she's very good to me. I get to kind of do what I want, roam around, get hit the sports book, do a lot of things. So if it makes her happy that she wants to, to go to uh, bingo, play Plaza or sorry, to the Plaza, do bingo, always going to do that. Let's and, do it right. Uh, yeah, so but even even saying that, uh, but so club one every single month, like when I look at my look at my rewards and stuff like that, every single month it's like two hundred dollars free play, uh, you know, four free nights at the D. Um, circus sometimes is hit or miss because sometimes it might be like Sunday to Thursday, but uh, the D is always you know four free nights, uh, and then it's like two hundred free play per month, and uh, it's one hundred and ten dollars for food and resort credit. So usually when we go down for the day or like even the night. We get a comp room, we get 200 free play, 110 uh, food and beverage credit. And then she gets a little bit too. So she usually gets, you know, 20 bucks, 20 or 30 bucks free play, and then uh, 30 or 40 bucks with uh, food as well. So even when we go down there, we, we get, you know, we're getting eaten for free pretty much throughout the day. And then that's what we got. So like our comps are, if you, if you, if you, if you maximize and use them, you know, right it can, it's definitely worth it. It's always like, it's always something that um, you should definitely be using and taking advantage because the card is, is so important. I mean, when you go down now, especially cause like I said, you're not getting what you used to. So you have to take advantage of whatever you can get. And it's all depends on, you know, the, the person, what they, what they do to gamble with. But uh, it's, it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely important to use a card all the time. Yeah. I, I learned that the hard way. Uh, the first few times I went, uh, then I figured out what, uh, especially at Caesars, I, I, I'm like you. I love Planet Hollywood, um, yeah. and that's where I do a lot of my gambling. Uh, the, the tables are live, uh, and yeah, you you got to take advantage of the of the comps that they're going to give you. Oh, uh, would you say you still get comp yearly for rooms? Oh, I, honestly, it's <laughs> one of those things. I don't I don't think I've paid for a room since about 2013. Okay, okay, and, you're right. And that's it, it's, it's not. It's just you know, it's what it is. It's not like a flex. Like I get, I get a you know, I'm not big time but it's like i've just i made sure i stayed at at diamond right because there's uh there's a like back then so 10 years ago i was a little more flexible in my jobs so i could go a lot more and the flights were a little bit cheaper and where i lived i could hop on a flight i could decide say like i could decide wednesday or thursday i'd be like even right now i could be like okay i, I looked at the flight 
tomorrow morning, the flight, oh, it's $130, like a Friday to Monday, 130 US round trip. I'd be like, okay, I'd lock it in. I'd be gone tomorrow morning, Vegas and back. But now it's, it's a little bit different. Now it's a, now it's a little bit different. It's a little bit older job. Uh, I got a permanent position now, so I don't have that flexibility to just, you know, take a weekend, take a long weekend off. So I can't really do that. So my, my trips have been um, pretty much according around my schedule. Uh, so I can really go guaranteed four times a year. And then I'll usually toss one in there as well. So I usually get there about five times a year now, where, like I said, about 10 years ago, I could go seven, eight, nine times a year. And, uh, but again, a little bit different back then. Yeah, no question. And when you were going back then so often, um, what's the biggest comp you got? Or uh, were rewarded, rewarded, I guess you could say. Um, I, well, the, the biggest one I got, again, it was with, it was with a top-up. So um, with, with a top-up, I, I got uh, like 2000 bucks, and my flight paid for uh, from, from like my host. So he, like, I was at like 1000 He topped it up to 2000 And then he like, comp, he like paid for the flight. And uh, it was, again, it was around New Year's, so it was perfect. So then the um, Caesars does this, uh, like, celebration dinner. I, again, it, it, at the time, I was like, oh, cool. Like, I didn't know what it was. So he, he threw in the celebration dinner, and then this, like, rooftop party. I remember it was at the, it was at the Link. Um, actually, it was called the Quad. It was the Quad when it was that brief year that was yeah. at the Quad. Right, um, right. So there was this, like, rooftop party there that it, it, you could go to afterwards. And it was when you look at the prices of it, it was, I mean, to them, it's nothing, but if you want to go, it was still like a couple hundred bucks, but I already went to this dinner and then there was like this big gigantic buffet up there and you could see the fireworks and stuff. So it was pretty cool uh, to do that. But it was just like this whole thing that kind of put there that, and again, I never asked for it, but he just, he offered it. And I was, I, of course I was glad to take it at the time, but again, sometimes those, those offers don't come as much anymore because at that time I was doing a lot better uh, gambling. So I think it was a time to get me back down and kind of take some of it back. So <laughs> last, last two years, I've kind of given a little bit, so they're taking a little bit of it back. So, but it, that's how it goes. It's not all honesty. It's not like I've been like a, you know, winning player for 10 years. Like there's, there's trips where I've done very well. And then trips where I'm there for like the first three hours and go, Oh my God, I got four more days here <laughs> of gambling. So then I, then I really, I kind of <laughs> turn into a bit of a tourist at that point. And I want to do a few other things to maybe stay off the tables and, um, keep a few more bucks in my pocket because I mean, as gambling goes, like you're, you're never going to, you know, win forever. There's always going to be some there's many highs and probably a lot more lows if anything, but there were those times. So yeah, the, the best one I think I got was that 2000 free play. And then um, like the, like a couple of those like dinners, a couple of those other little perks, but um, I know even now, I don't know I could talk to a couple of people that are getting, you know, getting offered like the F1 packages and, and things like that, that that's a little bit more updated, but I, I never got any of that, but Again, most of my play is not at MGM, so I wouldn't really get that stuff. But it's uh, it, it, like I said, it's pretty good. It's like I, I like I said, I really use the card. I kind of network. I, I communicate often with my host uh, just to make sure that you know things are still good. Uh, you know, even just touch base every now and again. And it's not like I'm just you know you, you use him whenever time you're there. It's he, he's a pretty nice guy, so I just check on things. Hey man, how's Vegas? How's things? Because um, again, once you if you if you're fortunate enough to get one, or some people that you know, I mean, even even to say this. Even if you contact, you know, whatever it is, if you contact Caesars or MGM or whoever it may be, uh, most of the place people really don't know. Like you're, you're eligible for ho you're eligible for hosts because um, like they want you to have that flexibility that you know you can call someone, they can make sure that you know you're going to get down there and that they can you can get set up. And it's just that comfortability and that you know makes you kind of feel good about those things. But I mean, like, at the same time, they're they want you down there to kind of take a few bucks from you. They 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 want you to put in more than you're taking out of them. That's for sure. And tell the audience how you would get in touch with a host. Uh, you know what? You can email. Because uh, a lot of times, even if, uh, if, you, if you pull up your app, a lot of the times, like if you had your, like your Caesars Rewards app, uh, like they have, there is a spot in there for uh, like a host. Like you say, like there's a, is there a host available? I'm going to see if I can pull mine up quick here. But uh, even if you do contact, because uh, I remember even quite a while ago, or say going back a few years ago, um, I did – my host moved positions. So, but he told me that he's like, I'm moving positions. And the guy that uh, they, you know, reassigned me to had no idea I was with him. So I wasn't, I was kind of, I, I was a little annoyed because I said like, listen, I'm coming here all the time. This shouldn't be like this because I've had the same host for a couple of years. It's, it's great that he moved positions because he moved up. But at the same time, like, you know, you'd figure that they'd move you laterally or someone that would be kind of in the same park as him. But, right, um, right. but uh, oh, let's see if I can find it. Um, 
even if, yeah, so sorry, even if you go like, even if the account, I'm not sure you can see if it's going to glare or anything like that, but like, if you can see, see a little it. bit. Yeah. So at the top, right up at the top right there, it says my hosts. So yeah. if you use that for Caesars, and I know, sorry, I'm kind of in the wrong way. Uh, if you use that for Caesars, because like very familiar with this app. So if you use that and you click on it, there should be, there might be someone available in there because even with my guy right now, it says he's like unavailable. And, um, but the VIP hotline is definitely available. Like, so they have the VIP one that you can go in there and you can call if you need to get something because every car, every card is synced to it. Um, if you do, uh, if you don't have a host in there, you can, you can request one. They'll probably look at, you know, obviously they're going to look at your play, um, you know, your frequent visits, like see how many times you go. Uh, but more often than not, I've, like, like I said, I've talked to a handful of people that didn't know they even had one contact and they said, Oh yeah. Like immediately right away emailed and so-and-so is your host. But even at C, um, it's funny. So at, uh, even at like Circa, um, if you're kind of roaming around, I dip it. I, I'm not like a high limit slot player or anything like that, but I, I've kind of dipped into play, you know, some top dollar pinball or, or whatever, high, or wheel of fortune, or whatever it may be. Usually right. someone will come around and be like, Hey, how's it going? Uh, do you have a host here? I, I've had this like two or three times. In the last couple of visits, someone will be like, "Hey, do you have a host?" and then hand me a card. But I don't. I, I think I'm I'm okay with what I have there for now because I think I've I've said this a couple of times with how like my offers are starting to come down on the strip. I'm kind of wondering when I might become a Fremont guy because I'm getting pretty good offers there for playing there once a trip. So if I go five times, I'm really there five days and I'm getting a couple hundred dollars free play like every month, and that's just with Club One. Um, even with Plaza, it's uh, it, once a month it'll get. I, I again, I play there for like very sparingly, going a few slots, a little roulette, blackjack, whatever. Nothing really crazy, and it's yeah. still getting you know six sixty dollars free play and seventy five dollars food credit, free like a couple like two comp rooms a night. It's, again, it doesn't seem like much, but again, it's when you piece together a four or five day trip, and you want to go for as cheap as possible, you're gonna have to maybe go for you know if you get two nights at the D two nights at the plaza and then you get two nights on, on the strip. You're going to have to piece those together if you want to make it economically friendly for yourself. And I always recommend it. Some people don't like moving and that's fine. If you want to go once a year and pay, I mean, that's no problem, but for the amount of times that I go, like my girlfriend and I go, I, it's, it's important that we do do that so that we can keep going uh, for that price. Because like I said, the comp, the comps are everything. And if, if you don't get them, I mean, some, some people, again, some people don't even know that they get them. That's the crazy part. So yeah, right, it's right. important that you, you know, make sure you get like the apps. So, I mean, I got like, I have all those apps. So I check in, I got my card number in there and I see, I scroll all the time to see it updating it monthly and then go from there. Because I mean, even for me, like I, I'm, I want, I want all the free play I can get. Um, other people might want, you know, food and beverage credit cause they don't maybe gamble as much, but they do put a lot of money into the food and beverage and, and shows and things like that. So as long as you're still doing that, you're, you're still going to get stuff out of it. Uh, so let's talk about prices uh, of uh, resorts and, and casinos. Uh, uh, are they going up? And if so, is it more the, the fees that are being added to it, or is it just the price and, and time? It's just they're just going up because of that. Uh, I think there's a couple of reasons. I know I've uh, again I, I've watched a lot of things, so it's not just me kind of coming up with this because I've I've watched of I watch you know I watch a lot of videos and. Uh, listen to a lot of different people talk about it. And uh, so it does make sense. I mean, obviously with COVID, all the hotels, everything, doesn't matter, like Vegas worldwide, everything took a hit. So even if you go anywhere, you're going to notice all those prices going up wherever it may be because I know even around us, we've had a couple of places that we might go a couple hours away. And it's like, you know, looking at $300 a night. And we always laugh. We're like, this isn't even Vegas. But um, right. the, the resort fees are always, they, they mean, they've been the exact same, like for like 40 to 50 bucks in around that range, like that hasn't gone away. Like that's, you know, fortunately stay the same. Like they haven't kind of tacked on another 10 or 15 bucks to everyone doing that because um, I, I mean, they very well could. I really hope it doesn't happen. I hope I don't jinx it, but it's fortunately still stayed with that. But I mean, even the hotel prices on the strip, like um, for like basic rooms are, you know, between 200 and 220 bucks a night where again, I, I don't want to say, oh, everything 10 years ago because everything goes up with inflation, but you used to be able to get, you know, rooms for like, like with the resort fee, like 60, 70 bucks. And then oh, you wow. can get those pack. Yeah. You can get those packages depending on where you're coming from. Um, that adds it all in and you go like your, your flight and hotel for, you know, four or $500 for all of it minus the resort fees. However, so that's another little bit, but you know, very rarely, I mean, if you want obviously the cheapest time to go Monday to Thursday, 
if you're if you're coming right. in because those rooms can be a little bit cheaper. I mean, if you want to stay at the Oyo, I think you can stay there for like twenty or thirty bucks. A shade off strip. I don't want to knock it uh, to those that like it. It's not really for me per se. I mean, obviously I've been in there. It was it was the old Hooters. If if you're if no one wasn't sure what the Oyo was. Oyo is right, right, right. Yeah, it was the old Hooters. Uh, so again, to me, that was more like a like a cheaper party hotel. But at the same time, like I mean, people want to go to Vegas. That's that's a good hotel for for that price range. Uh, but then again, I mean, if you're going once a year, you might want to stay at the Strip. And then again, like I said, Monday to Thursday, basic king rooms. Uh, you could probably get them for under under 200 a night. Like they're in about the 100, 150 range. Or sorry, not the 100, but like 150 range all all included. Um, and then like Fremont to me is like a little bit cheaper. Like if you want to go there, you can get some better deals that are probably around 100 bucks a night um, all in. But again, if you go on the weekends, it's obviously inflated because they'll get the, you know, the California crowd. Um, the West, like the West coast crowd that'll want to go in that they know that they're, they're coming so they can bump up the price a bit. Um, and they're going to have to pay it, but yeah, that def definitely has gone up. And like I said, that's to me, it's like a couple of a couple reasons. It could be, you know, obviously trying to recoup a little bit from COVID, but also with inflation, they can do it. Cause I mean, everywhere else is going up. So, I mean, they might as right. well just filter in and do the same thing. as everyone else. I mean, obviously I'd like it to be cheaper, but, and then again, where it comes back to, to us, like fortunately enough, like, I mean, if I was paying. 200 bucks a night and I come down for five or six nights. Like I, it'd be, it'd be tough for me to add another 12, 13, $1,400 on top of the flights, because even the flights for uh, myself and my girlfriend to come down are anywhere from like 600 on the low end. And that's really, if we get a good one to, you know, pushing a thousand bucks right, uh, each. Right. So that's why I mean, when we come to Vegas, it's, it's, we're making it worthwhile. And it, it's a tough day because uh, we're in Northern Ontario uh, in Canada and it's a long day. So it's like a, you know, a two hour flight to Toronto and then another, you know, you're waiting there and then a four hour flight back. So it's like, it's like when, when it's all said and done between time we get up to time we get there, it's, a, it's about an 11, 12 hour day, just one way. Just so right, but right. one way. So it, it's tough. So when we, when we're doing that, it makes it, uh, makes it a little bit tougher. So, I mean, that's why I'm saying with the hotel, with the hotel prices, um, the comps are really why we can go. We'd probably realistically go like maybe once a year if we didn't get those. So, um, fortunately, if if and, and you have to and you have to price hunt too, right? Like it, it all depends. So if, if you're if you have that flexibility where you can go, there's obviously like some down like some like low points and um, obviously some off season prices that would be more beneficial because I mean if you're looking to go like peak times in the summer, New Year's, March break, like they're it's insane. Like the prices are are mental. Like. I mean, even Mar March, March Madness, they go through the roof because they know everyone wants to come down, watch March Madness, sit in the sports book. It's a whole bunch of guys going. Like, I mean, the ratio has got to be nine to one guys at March break. It has and, to be. Uh, it has to be. And it, it, it is a blast because that is that is the one time I can go. But I've already booked my March break flight. Like, I, I already book everything. Like, it's already been booked for a month. And that's wow. it. And it, every, I, I always peak. Every couple of weeks, I'll peak and see them. Like, oh, it went up 20 bucks. Oh, like the flights. Well, it went yeah. up 20 bucks. So it went up another 50 bucks. I'm like, well, thank goodness because everything's times two and then going right. down. By the time it goes down even more, like we look at the hotel prices and the hotel prices are four or 500 bucks a night. Some of them on the low end for March Madness, that, like that Thursday to Sunday, because right. that's, you know, again, like a, a sports betters paradise coming down. I mean, uh -huh. I know, I know now it starts on the Tuesday, like the play in games, but um, the, everyone wants to be there for that, um, for that first game on Thursday which is yeah, 8 a.m. So like 8 a.m. And I, I, I've done it before. I love it when people are in there and it's like the tip off. Everyone's cheering. Like it, it's electric. Like it is a fantastic time. But economically, it's it's also cost of fortune to be down there at that time. Yeah, you better you better hope you hit when you're down there uh, on your on your sports betting to make some of that money back. Huh? Your your 12 game parlay better hit to cover the cost <laughs> of that trip. So if that's what you're doing, like yeah, yeah. So you just uh, you mentioned earlier that. Uh, because of how you stay, you and your girlfriend, y'all don't mind going from one hotel to another, even Fremont Street to the Strip. Any hassles? I know some people are, don't like doing that. Um, some people do. Uh, well, what are the pros and cons that you've come uh, finding out of staying in multiple places in Vegas? Uh, well, I mean, so typically for us, so like I said, when I, so I'll give you a, for an example, like our next trip, we, we stay at Planet Hollywood. So I'm locked in from December 30th to January 5th. So Planet Hollywood is going to be like my, our home base. Like we, we, all, everything we have is there and we, we bring like an overnight bag. So then, like I said, we'll go to, um, we're going to stay at New York, New York, uh, this next trip. 
And we're, cause I, I actually, to be honest, that's one place I've never stayed. And I've seen so many people that, uh, even recently that are staying there and I know they've done uh, some remodeling. I've always really liked it in there. Just never stay there. So we're going to stay there for a night. Uh, to you get to use those two free nights with, with the comp. So we're just going to take an overnight bag, go over there. And then um, on uh, January 1st, we're going to go to Circa for, for a night, maybe two, but night for sure. And then same thing, just bring bring a bag over there. But I know that, uh, again, I, like exactly what you said, I've talked to a handful of people when you know we've talked about trips and they, you know, they said they would never do that. Like they just want one spot, which makes complete sense. I know you want all your stuff there. But, you know, we've learned to bring like an overnight bag to go because we went to Fremont Street a handful of times. We said, oh, man, like I, you know, a couple couple beverages and a couple other yeah. things going on that you want to, you know, you're feeling good. It's a good time and you just want to stay down there. So if you have uh, that room down there available that, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to take advantage because then you don't have to take the Uber or the Uber or the cab back and, um, and then you're already down there. So for us, it's not it's not a huge deal. But I know that uh, it, it probably would be a pain in the butt for for some people that don't want to be, you know, lugging stuff around. But also at the same time, like I said, like for for moving, it, it can be a bit of a pain. I do get that because unless you're kind of right this like right across the street, and I've never really done. I've I've only ever did it once. It was like one of my. It was a it was a mistake because we moved from uh, Flamingo to Park MGM, and then oh, oh. carrying that carrying, and I, I bring a carry on, so it's not like a huge bag. But it was still just a pain, right? Like it's not something enjoyable. It's like a 20, 25 minute walk and it was like a hundred degrees out. It just sucked. So I can definitely say that. I mean, I mean, if people are listening, they go, Well, why you just pay for a cab or an Uber, you cheapskate? And it's like, ah, I was kind of it was early in the morning. I thought I could do it. And uh, it turns out, yeah, it was not very enjoyable. And I would hundred percent take an Uber or cab the next time. So that is like just from <laughs> my experience, I would definitely not recommend doing that. Um but yeah, if you are going to move, like just completely change hotels. Yeah. Get a cab, move your stuff and then feel comfortable doing it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, in, in all the times you've been to Vegas, what do you prefer? Uh, the Vegas strip, uh, or the downtown Fremont street? Both have, both have their, both have their pros and cons. I mean, I, I've been primarily like, I, I've been all strip, um, I've, I've just really enjoyed it because again, like when I, when I play, I just want to use like for, again, I, like Caesars, I just kind of like see like, like casino hop. Right. So I'll go, right. sometimes our day I'll start at planet Hollywood. Then we'll, you know, walk across to Paris, play there a bit, go down, like the, go down the walkway to, to horseshoe now, or like Bally's it was, but go to horseshoe, right. play around there. Then again, cr- cross the street, go to Cromwell, play in there, then go to Flamingo, Harris, and then kind of, Make her, and then I end up making my way to Mirage, and then go into there for a bit because a lot of the times it's uh you know you get just kind of casino hop and play a little bit and just kind of bounce around, move, and then but again there's even those times where they have those um those uh, like for anything for for rewards. So uh, there is this quest there you know the quest for rewards. If anyone's familiar with Caesars, that they do have that where if you get you know 25 tier credits uh in a, in in there you get a bonus points. So it used to be really good a few years ago. A few years ago, if you played you got 25 credits in there playing like slots and then 25 on the table they'd give you uh, an extra bonus. So it used to be, if you got 25 credits, they'd like 10, 10 exit. So you'd get, you know, 250 plus 250. And then if you got both, they'd give you an additional 250. So you'd get 750 from each property. So you could play like you'd normally do just, like I said, casino hop, and then you'd end up with, you know, over 5,000 points just doing what you normally do. And that's, uh, they, they come down a little bit though. Now it's like they, they just pretty much match the 25 and then give you another 25. Still not terrible if you're going to play anyway, because again, it's just a way to build up the points and, and, uh, and the comps. So it's, that, that's, that's kind of important, but the, so the strip has, you know, that perk for me, but then again, Fremont is just a whole other world from even day and night from day. It's day. It's pretty tame, but you can still see some pretty crazy stuff. And then at night it just, it can get wild with, uh, with everything that I'm sure you've already seen before and (laughs) anyone listening could definitely attest to, you'd see, you know, naked people all over the place and uh, you know, the mini Mr. T and, and (laughs) uh, all all the, every, everything else kind of around. So there, there's, there's some pretty, pretty funny stuff that you got to do double and triple takes walking around. And uh, there's, you know, it's funny that people are always got the cameras out now kind of taking pictures. So, I mean, even I'm, you know, Instagram, Twitter and stuff, you'll always see like, saw this on Fremont last night. And you're like, you, you just kind of laugh because yeah, I've seen it before and I've, you, you can, you can relate to it. So 
Um, Fremont's always good for me for a night. Um, but again, with this, with the prices on the strip kind of inflating and the comps coming down, like I'd say maybe within a year or two, if they still go down to nothing from what I'm still playing, I might turn into a Fremont guy and kind of invest into, uh, you know, club one or a couple of the other pro. I know they have like, you know, Boyd's down there too. Um, even plazas on their own. Like they, they can still give you some really good stuff with some, with some moderate play, I would say. Well, in about a year from now, we'll check in to see if they, uh, uh, if they pulled you into the Fremont street experience uh for good it, it could happen i could be you know fremont for four or five nights and go down to the strip for you know if i get a free night couple free nights again kind of could be a flip-flop which which isn't so bad because again there's, and again even with fremont some of like the food prices down there are like are much cheaper you can get so many good deals down there with food and it's it is very good like you can get some awesome there's awesome food choices down there um but the strip is just very populated with um you know the mainstream restaurants like all the ramsey Restaurants, which don't get me wrong, I I enjoy. They're very good, um, but they, then it they also are. it also takes away. And I know I've whenever I kind of say anything about like the Ramsey restaurants, I know a couple people are like, "Oh, you got to go off strip to this place." And I, in all fairness, like I haven't really ventured too much off strip. I've gone to a couple places, but it, it's just like all my if I'm going on for four or five days, and that's where you know I'm throwing all my eggs in that basket and trying to to do that. Because again, if you di diversify too much, and it's nice to experience different things. But if you diversify too much, like all you just water down and dilute all, you know, the comps that you're going to get so that right. it makes it harder to, to get it all. So if you kind of put more into, you know, whether it be Caesars or MGM, um, you're going to you're obviously going to maximize that to, to the fullest of what you do. And when you're at Planet Hollywood, since I'm a big fan of the place, too, uh, what's your favorite place to eat at there? Uh, you know what? I, it used to be YOLO's. I used to really like YOLO's and the last time I went, I had a terrible experience and it went downhill and they don't let you charge your room. So that kind of got me too. Cause again, when I go to these restaurants a lot, not mo the majority of it, not all of it. Cause I still, I don't mind paying for, for food. I sound like I'm probably just a, you know, cheap <laughs> right now, but I don't, I don't mind paying for, for some stuff down there. Cause again, when you're on vacation you're in Vegas, you, you expect to pay. Um, so I used to really like YOLOs and then, like I said, I don't know, I just kind of went downhill to me and, uh, I didn't really enjoy it anymore, but the one other, there's two, there's two places I used to love. Um, one was BLT steak and that was in Bally's of the horseshoe. Again, there's a Ramsey restaurant, but BLT steak I used to love it. And then this other place called Hong Kang that was right in between, um, Paris and Bally's or Paris and horseshoe Sorry, It was like this little, it was like, um, this little Japanese or Japanese, it was like a, like a Chinese restaurant that uh, I used to love it. I used to go there and get like the dim sung and I used to get um, like a soup that I, I, it was like my first stop. When I got there, I was like right there for uh, this meal. Yeah. Um, if anyone remembers, like you'd go there and they'd have like the, the upside down duck that was kind of <laughs> yeah. inside out, looked really leathery that was kind of in a showcase there. So it was right in between there and it was, it was one of my favorite places. Um, but now, yeah, so Planet Hollywood, YOLOs, kind of my bad books. Um, oh, I mean, I don't want to deter anyone from that. But, yeah, for me, it wasn't. And then the, the one place I actually really like in there, I know it's not like a restaurant anyway, is, is the Earl of Sandwich. It's so good. It's such like, the perfect spot just to go grab a bite, a soup. One of my favorite stops. Because, again, you can go. You're not full. Because that's your thing, too. When you go there, you don't want to, especially in the summer. It's so hot. You can't yeah. just – I mean, some people can. I cannot. I, I can't just I can't. bow down food and then expect to, you know, maneuver around. If I eat a lot, I want to nap. I'm just going to go lay down and then I'm over. Like Thank I want, I want to, I want to kind of move around a bit. So my girlfriend and I, we usually, we sometimes with the bigger meals, we split it because again, Vegas portions are huge. Yeah, and yes, they are. Vegas portions are huge. So we, we do split a lot of meals and we both feel great after we can kind of move around, go to the pool and not feel terrible about ourselves. And then, uh, and still enjoy, enjoy our days. <laughs> yeah, no question. No question. Uh, favorite casino, past or present? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be in Vegas either. And, and why? Oh, my favorite casino. I mean, I, I do. It, it's, it's like, that's actually a good question because that's one thing I've never really thought of. Like, I enjoy a lot of them. I mean, the easiest answer would say whatever one I'm winning in, I guess. <laughs> but right. uh, whatever, whatever one wants to pay me out the most is my favorite. But, uh, I mean, I, I do like – oh, geez, that is, that's a really good question. I mean, plan, you know what? I, 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 even years ago, I really did like Planet Hollywood. The atmosphere is good. 
it's um it's kind of changed a lot a little bit um but it does have like a good vibe and atmosphere especially at night i mean for for the gentlemen it's got like you know the dancers there while you're playing probably to distract you but um i mean even, like i like see like caesar's palace is always nice to me bellagio like these places are always really they're really nice and and but the only thing with those is they're big so for me personally i'm i'm a smaller kind of casino guy um, like Planet Hollywood, I know I could navigate there with a blindfold on. And another place right. that even when I used to play years ago was Harris. I used to go to Harris all the time because it was a smaller casino. Again, I could navigate through there no problem. And uh, even with our high limit room with our blackjack, it was always empty. A couple other places I could go to, there'd always be people, and I'd always go to Harris. It would be empty. Could hang out there, no worries. There'd always be like you know a cocktail waitress every five minutes, kind of relax, like playing there. It's one of my favorite spots, uh, that spot per se. But um, right now, I'd have to say my favorite casino is is probably 100% Circa, though. Circa is uh, such a such a beautiful casino. Uh, it's so it's so nice. It's clean. Uh, the sports book is unbelievable. It's just got this whole other atmosphere in there. Um, the tables, uh, you know, with everything. It's the layout is very good. It's got that long bar. Or that mega bar story that's just like it's, it's crazy. The bartenders are always there. They're very friendly. They you know, can mix you up an awesome drink. Um, and then even on the second floor, it's got a couple of good food options as well too. Like even with the, I'm not sure if you've ever been to Eight East, but Eight East is a is a really nice spot. We uh, we go there once every trip too. But okay. Circa Circa to me is uh, it, it's awesome. I mean during the day it can be kind of quiet, and it's good if that's what you want. But at night it can it can get very lively in there, which is which is perfect. It's 21 plus. You're not going to see right. any kids if you don't want to see any. And uh, the other thing is I know they do ID, which some people don't like, but I actually do like it because it kind of keeps away um, maybe some sketchier people that it's you have to go in there. And, uh, again, if you don't have an ID, you can't get in. So, I mean, it kind of has that safety feeling for some people. But I also don't mind. It doesn't bother me when I just – here's my ID. It doesn't doesn't bother me. I get to go in there. And and uh, to me, so that that's my place right now that I really do enjoy going to. Yeah, it's a cool casino. Uh, a few trips back, finally made it, uh, the trip out there to, to check it out. Uh, yes, a hundred percent. Yes, I, I love what what they did with it. Uh, I love the vibe that it brought to the Fremont Street experience, uh, and, and and good for them. Good for them. Yeah, Derek Derek Stevens did a really good job, and actually, funny like I, years ago um, when I was at the D, I was uh, I was talking to well, again. So I had, I had a host there. Uh, briefly but again he moved on and I never really kind of followed up with anything because again I always stay there once so when I remember I was playing there I was playing just like you know $25 a hand blackjack and he was uh guy was asking me he's like hey like you know do you have a, do you have uh do you have do you have a host with us and I said no he's like okay well hey like I could I could definitely help you out I'd love to get you where are you staying I was staying at I was staying on the strip called like Flamingo or something he's like okay well he's like what are you getting over there and that was the time where I was getting about 750 free play so I was like yeah I get you know 750 free play comp rooms and stuff. I go perfect I'll give you a 750 free play right now and we'll get a limo we'll go over and take get your stuff it's like uh-huh. no, no I, I don't I this is like my first like a second day there I was like no no I'm, I'm gonna stay over there and then so he goes oh come with me for a second so he comes and he's like ah oh, this is uh this is uh the, this is the owner Derek I, again no idea who it was at the time so he's like this is Derek so I'm sitting there and the three of us are just sitting there talking like Normally we just kind of popped at like a, you know, a, a table and he's sitting there and the wait, like uh, he goes, yeah, what do you want to drink? And it's like, Oh, it's, you know, captain and Coke. So we're sitting there. He's like, captain and Coke. He's like, I got your bill. So we started talking about hockey and then we both ended up uh, playing hockey. Uh, and well, he, he used to play hockey years ago and we were both uh, ended up in the Detroit Red Wings organization briefly at one point. So we wow. had that little, conne- we had that little connection that when we were talking about it, that uh, he was said the same thing. He was like, yeah, Hey, bring all this stuff down. I'll hook you up. I'll, I'll treat you well. And then even I remember after that, they still hooked me up with a really nice trip, but I never really stayed in contact. And, uh, and then now when he was at the Circa, I remember I bumped into him and said hi to him once. And then uh, that was it. But that was really one of those things where he, he did really well with that, with obviously the D and then built the Circa into what it is. And it's, yeah, it's, it's such a beautiful casino and uh, you know, he's done very well for himself. I'll say that for sure. No, he really hasn't. He's doing a really good job down there. Uh, yeah, downtown. Favorite Vegas or gambling movie that, that you'll enjoy watching? Oh, there's there's a few. I mean, I love uh, like oh, it, like Vegas Vacation is always a funny one for me. <laughs> uh, Vegas Vacation is a funny one. I mean, if 
But I just sit down, like I love Casino. Casino is such a such an awesome movie. Uh, just with just with all the aspects of it, like I mean, just the legendary acting in it from now on. These guys, I mean, those guys are getting old now. Because when you watch that movie, they were kind of oldish then. Now these guys are. What do you see them now? They're so old. That's making me feel like old. Older. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> making me feel old. That movie's out in like '93. So I'm thinking that movie came out when I was 10 years old, and I think I watched it when I was probably 12 or 13, and uh, probably set the stage for my you know Vegas addiction, I guess. But <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like Casino is such an awesome movie. And then uh, I remember it was one of the funniest things. So I remember when they were always playing uh, like so con like kind of a funny joke with my girlfriend and I. So like if you ever see, you see the movie Con Air. I remember watching it, and uh, so we were watching the one scene where they're flying the plane into Vegas. My girlfriend had just like started like paying attention at this point. She's like, "Oh, cool, Vegas!" But that's where they have like all those old casinos on the strip that they're yeah. coming through, and they're just kind of blowing up. And then I was trying to say, I was like, "Yeah, you know, this is an awesome movie." They crash the plane, and they uh, they all they all survive, and they go in and play blackjack. Just kind of joking, you said it. So then she's still watching, and she's like, "So when are they going to play blackjack?" I'm like, "Oh my god." <laughs> So then every time, every time it was always on, you know, one of those stations that you like uh, TBS or whatever like that. So it would always be on. So anytime like she'd cruise by, she's like, oh, is this the same where they want to play blackjack? Almost kind of mocking me. But so I was trying to tell her that that's yeah, a Vegas movie. But, but yeah, no, Casino, Casino, I think has got to be for me. And then, you know, Vegas Vacation is always something funny. I like to, like to watch as well. <laughs> Whenever it's on, I always like to watch it. And then Clark Griswold just getting yeah, destroyed at the, at the table is always kind of comic relief for me. They're both classics. Did you know Casino was filmed uh, at the Jockey Club? I did not. There is uh, so, but there was like I again. It's over the course of time. You know when you hear like even you know it's funny like Instagram and Twitter when you see like little blurbs of stuff like those little information pieces that are always like funny and informative to me. Like even for the longest time, I you know I kind of assumed uh, you know like years ago. I was like when when you start to realize you know who some of these characters are. Uh, but they're, like the real, like the the real people who they were, right? So right, you see your some right. of the stories and where the legend, like the legendary stories of what they are. Some of them are just like mind blowing that you can I appreciate now. Like at the time, I you know when I'm you know thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, did ah whatever, it's just a movie. But right. as you get older, you start to appreciate some of these stories a lot more. Especially the more I, sorry, excuse me, the more I've been down there, I um yeah, you start you start to appreciate it more and and, uh, and definitely enjoy it. Yes, no question, no question. Uh, Chris, you're, there's no question. You are a comp expert. Uh, how did you get into to figuring out how all this works? Because I know there's people uh, that, go, that, that go to Vegas a lot. Uh, they, 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 they get comps just because they play. They don't really know how to, to hustle it like you. So when I, to be honest, this is the first time I did it, uh, when, I, when I, um, I started going regularly, call it, I say like 10 years ago, like very frequently, um, so I started with the, started Caesars with a card and then I was always playing and I wondered like at the time, like, like, uh, how often, how long does it take to do it? Because again, I didn't have the app. I didn't really have anything. I'd always have to go up and bother people, uh, with a swipe, swipe me tell me where I'm at type thing. And then, um, again, just got told by like the, I mean, this is like the rewards desk at the time. They're like, Oh, you had, you know, you're upgraded to like platinum. I was like, Oh, nice. And then, so they, you know, they, here's the information sheet. Here's what you get. Here's all your perks. So then I started emailing people. And then again, I just started emailing people and asking questions. I was, I was bothering people. I said, Hey, like, you know, I'm, I'm at this stage. What do I get? And then before long, when I started going a couple of times, you know, he went from, you know, the regular gold card to, you know, platinum to diamond. And I thought I was a big time at the diamond this, you know, 10 years ago. So, because then it's like, Oh yeah, you know, you get free rooms and then here's your offers. And then, so obviously I started to get the email offers uh, in the mail and then I would start booking them. But it was all just kind of being aware. And if you're, if you're unsure, like bother people, like, you know, even like you want to go on the website, contact whoever and just ask, or even if you do call, you can call them up. They'll, they'll tell you exactly what you have. You give your card number uh, and ask, you know, what do I have available? Cause I've done it a couple of times where even, um, even asking if I have like more, cause there's stuff where you get um, on your email, but there's stuff in addition that you can get that you have no idea. Um, so again, right. it's always important to always important that to ask whoever, like I said, use the contact and even with the app, if you don't have, if, uh, if you have a host, you can message them and they'll probably get to hold of you right away. Um, and just kind of go from there. But again, just being aware and just using your card all the time is, is definitely important. It doesn't matter whether you swipe it, use it in the card for gambling, for food, the gift shop, whatever it may be, you have to use it. But then more importantly, when you do that, you build up those comp points that you can use for stuff off as well 
mine, mine disappear at the end. So my host will take it off um, with the bill. So like, say if I build up, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks in like comp money over the course of a trip or a little bit, uh, when he takes care of the room, that obviously comes off and then he'll kind of take care of the rest. So portion of it's already taken off. So like, I never use it, but I mean, if you do, you can use it for, uh, for free play, but it is half. So say if you have, you know, easy, if you have $20 in comp money, you can use it for like $10 in free play if you want. But to right, me, it's right. always worth it. If you, if you use it for food or anything, uh, or resort fee, if you want stuff like that. Uh -huh. But the one thing I will say too, at the end, and I've always, I've said this to a lot of people, even if you, if you, if you, if you do gamble quite a bit and you just at the end of your checkout, if you're not, don't have a host or anything, ask the people what they can do. Cause when you go up to uh, checkout, you just say, Hey, like, what can you do with my play? And they'll, they'll, they'll stop you every time they go, okay, let me see. And they'll, whether they're, you know, pecking away, doing the keyboard cat thing, doing something like they'll, they'll still be able to say, well, I could definitely take off your comp points, but I can check with a host. And they always have a, uh, a host on site, like a, like um, a casino host kind of sitting right. there. And um, they'll check with them. And sometimes with your play, because I remember this is what happened my first time because I never knew. I was just went in, I'd pay my, I'd charge everything in the room. They'd take off the comp money and i do it. So I was at, it was at the Bally's at the time. And she said, hang on a second, I'll call the host. So, so I sat there and I had like the money out right away. I was like, I remember it was like 360 bucks. So I had the 360 ready and she's like, okay, I had no idea. So I sat there. She's like, hey, you know, I, you know, I have this player here. Can you check his play, this and that? She goes, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, thanks. She's like, okay, see you later, have a good trip. I'm like, sorry, what's that? She's like, yeah, you're with your play. They they took it off and uh, uh -huh. you're good. It's like, it's like, do you take tips? She's like, why? Well, no, you don't have. It. I was like, no, no, here you go. So I like gave her hundred bucks. I'm like, thanks. Yeah, I was ready. To, I was ready to give you three sixty. So I was like, here's a hundred bucks. You know, have a nice, have a go, have a nice dinner, uh, type wow. thing. And uh, well, hundred bucks back then was probably okay. hundred bucks dinner is probably dinner for one right now but, right uh, now. <laughs> but um by the time like i was like wow it, it was unbelievable so then i started doing that every time uh and then a couple like i said a couple times after that trip i started to get contact with a host and then that was easier through that because um usually when you get that personalized information with them like they'll obviously here's my cell phone number whatever you need let me know so usually during my trip i'll, I'll connect with them and say hey do you want to meet up for you know a drink at, at paris or something just to you know shoot the shit type yeah. thing yeah. And then, um, so it's, it, I always want to feel like personal. Like I don't want to feel like I'm always just like use them. Hey, give me free stuff and buzz off. Yeah, no it's uh, it's usually pretty good. Cause he's, he's been a good guy to me over the years. So like, obviously we built a little bit of a relationship that, um, that we can, you know, sit and have a drink together, you know, talk sports or whatever. And then, um, and then go on our way. Cause I know that he's a, the coast are usually pretty busy. Like they got a whole bunch of players asking him for free stuff all the time. And like, I always try to keep it very basic. Like, I usually ask for, you know, just a king room close to the elevator and as much free play as you're going to give me and uh, that'll make me happy. And yeah. uh, I've, I've, even I've had, I've had like, I've had uh, four hosts over the time and a lot of them are like, you're the easiest guy to deal with because everyone also want, you know, this, 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 and this. So yeah, for me, I'm pretty easy. I just say, give me a room close to the elevator. Uh, much free play as you're going to give me. And if you can take care of my bill at the end of my trip, that'd be fantastic. And then kind of go from there. But my girlfriend, will, she'll want, she'll want to, she'll want a suite, which is fine. So we usually get like a, a yeah. king suite, which is which is nice, and then usually a good view. So, okay, the plan a plan hall. I've got the same, I feel the same style of room a couple times in a row, and she loves it. So, whatever, I can, if I can make her happy, it's okay with that. I'll I'll take that. If she wants the strip, that's fine. That's right. Never a bad thing. No, well, it makes Chris, it easier for me. That's right. That's right. Well, Chris, thank you so much for being on. I appreciate you taking your time and and speaking with me today. Uh, no, I love it. I love I love talking Vegas. So that's good. I'm thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Hey, anytime. And Chris, tell everybody where they can follow you on all your platforms. So uh, yeah, so Instagram uh, and and YouTube uh, started a just a couple like a small it's a YouTube channel. It's kind of it's growing better than I thought to be honest. So a lot of it we just kind of put stuff on there just to kind of have some fun, but it's growing up a little bit. So. If you want to uh, subscribe on there, a sale those lines, all the like and subscribe, all that stuff, it'd be appreciated. I love it. It's uh, the Vegas Dog eight nine eight three on YouTube and Instagram, and uh, yeah, just post some fun stuff on there, just some videos, and some experiences, and just uh, it's it's been fun. So I, it's been a, a fun hobby for a bit. It's actually very time consuming, yeah. but uh, it, it's it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So yeah, if you want to uh, subscribe or uh, follow on Instagram. Greatly appreciate it. I usually uh, give a follow and they uh, subscribe back because I do like seeing other people's experiences too. And we kind of just started vlogging a little bit just to show some certain things. So we've got a lot of good, uh, 
response and feedback from there. And I've uh, actually started following a lot of other people that way too, just seeing their experiences and their trips. And it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. So that'd be, it'd be awesome if, uh, if you did. That'd be awesome. Yes. Now please follow him. Uh, it's the Vegas dog eight, nine, eight, three. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. Hey, awesome. Chris, thank you so much for your time. Take care. And we'll talk to you soon, brother. Renee, my pleasure. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.